guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this really awesome exploding box scrapbook um, and I'm making this one for Valentine's Day for my partner. All you'll need for this DIY is three large sheets of colourful paper or cardboard. You will also need a ruler and a pair of scissors and a rubber pencil and pen. grabbed a few of these cards that uh, my partner and I have given each other over the years just as a template as the um, size of the square I'll need to make my box. So I'm just grabbing the card and I'm making a cross like shape so I'm tracing around the sides of the square that I need and I've got one for the center and then on the edges I've got four around the edges to make the base of the box. Once I grab the blue cardboard, I've just got an envelope that's slightly smaller and you can just use anything that's square to trace around. Um, I've just got obviously the card and the envelope because they were easy and they were the perfect size for me. Now again, I'm doing the exact same pattern but slightly smaller and if you want multiple layers inside of your box, you can just keep making the same shape but make it smaller and smaller and make sure it's a few centimetres smaller each time. So um, I would go for about a centimetre or two, um, that's probably the right size if you want to keep making multiple layers inside of this exploding box. Now the lid is a little bit harder to make, so I've got the same square I used for the red cardboard and I drew around that card and I've drawn little flaps around just because I want to fold up these edges. Um, and I've put also little tabs on the side, you'll probably only need one tab on each side but you can use two if you want to make it more sturdy. So once they're all cut out they should look like this. Now I'm just folding up the crease lines just so when I'm designing on it I don't go over the side of the square and I know exactly where it's going to fold in. The lid's a little bit harder to explain just because I was kind of making it up on the spot. So basically I've got the square in the center and then I've got like those outer little rectangles. So I've folded the rectangles in half and I've left the tabs out and the folded in half little rectangle around the edge makes the sides of the lid and little tabs are the parts that connect the lid um, together. So I hope that makes sense. If you can't follow my tutorial then just jump on Google Images and you'll be able to find a um, template of a box lid cutout. Now fold up your sides, pop the lid on and make sure it's working before you start collaging because you might have to make a new lid. As you can see mine's a little bit tight but that's because I was kind of just guessing how to make one. Now that you've got the base and the lid all sorted out, now you can just start decorating. And there you have it, that's our exploded box. It's so fun to make and it's so fun to lift that lid off and watch all the layers come out. So you can make as many layers as you want and you can collage it anywhere you want to, so it's really easy and um, yeah, you can personalize it really nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love watching the box explode into a little scrapbook and um, I hope I've given you a great idea for you to make for your own partner or someone special for your Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.